Hey YouTube, Aiden. That's me. It's good to see you guys. Um, wanted to give you guys a little bit of a progress report, a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a trial by fire um, of this. Um, I'm playing a show on it right now, so I'm not going to do the actual trial by fire for a little bit. But I just want to give you guys some like first impressions of playing this out there in the real world with actual people. I really like it. Why do I really like it? Most horns, when you first get them, you spend a lot of time just kind of like working through their quirks, the weird things that it does that are different than your other horns. Like for instance, my LT16M that I just got, my new box small bore, is very quirky. There's so many weird things about it. The positions are weird. The even the way I hold it is weird. Um, the partials are really like I like how it is, but they're in really weird places. Um, all sorts of different stuff like that. It's a very quirky instrument. This has no quirks. It is the quirkless instrument. It is two different pieces that I put together. I put on my mouthpiece. I put my get a grip on, and it fits perfectly. And I put lose on it, and it just plays. There's like nothing I have to worry about. It's not like my bass where I have to put all these things together and screw my bell on. And then it's very quirky. Or my LT16M, which is also two pieces, but also just super weird. This is just like a standard trombone. And man, that makes... Oh man, it just makes me really happy. It's so easy to play. I've not really had a horn like that in a forever. I guess my, my Yamaha E42 is kind of like that. It's, it's got some weird intonation and note things, but all you phonemes do is pretty much as quirkless as you phonemes get. Um, so that said, you know, I'm not a full-time tenor trombone player, so I haven't had lots and tons and tons and tons of hours on the tenor trombone. So I want a horn that's really quirky, but sounds really good, or has no quirks, and sounds completely acceptable. I'm going to take the acceptable instrument in this case, um, at least for now. I can get a lot better on this. I have a lot of instruments, right? And I've gone through a lot of instruments. And my kind of, now that I've thought about it a lot, and I've gone through a lot of these instruments so quickly, I want to have the instrument be at this level, for instance. This is the level in the instrument, and I want my level to be somewhere down here. I want the instrument to be better than me. I want to have room to work myself up to this level. Um, my bass has consistently, my current bass, has consistently stayed above my level. I keep getting better, I keep getting better, and I'm not even close to as good as the bass can be. That's all I want, because I hit the level on my basses. I mean, how many basses have I gone through? I've gone through a ton. I just keep nudging into that level, and then I got a new one, and now I'm set. Um, on my old 6H, my small horn, I kind of, not in every way, not every aspect of this wall, I didn't hit it, but in a lot of ways, I was already past that wall. There's some weird things about that horn. I would play it pretty well, and the horn would just not do it for me. So really with this, a horn I'm gonna use semi-often, but don't have so much time to practice. I want a horn that's just way better than me, that I don't have to worry about those weird quirks and things. And that's exactly what this is. Um, every aspect about it is just super easy to play, Super easy to deal with. And that's why I'm playing. I'll see you guys next time, um, and I'll give you guys a real trial by fire on the next one. See ya.